Hi, this is Dr. Deepa Squally, and today I'm here to talk to you about everybody's favorite doctor, Dr. Google. Unfortunately, these days, almost every patient that we see has some form of cyberchondria, which is a preoccupation with looking medical conditions up on the internet. And I'm here to talk to you about the pitfalls of Dr. Google, because sometimes it could be really, really helpful. For example, when you're not sure if a condition is severe enough that you may need to go to the hospital or something of that effect, it can be really, really useful. However, if you're just having a, a myriad of symptoms and you just start checking, it can actually be a detriment to the doctor's visit. First of all, many of the things that you're reading on the internet are sometimes just anecdotal experiences that people have, and also these really misleading recovery stories may not always be representative of the average patient. So I don't advise that anybody stop or change their treatment plan prescribed by the doctor based on what Dr. Google is saying. Also, the symptom checkers, even the ones on WebMD, are not really very accurate. They're only right about 34% of the time, and honestly, you wouldn't really want to see a doctor who's right 34% of the time. That's never a good idea. So I think the best way to use the internet and, you know, Dr. Google is by actually going to a physician first. You know, people who have actually gone to medical school and treated patients, done a residency, treating patients in their practice, because they're just going to be much, much better able to understand your symptoms term processes and come to an accurate diagnosis. Now, after your visit, when you maybe want to find out more research about whatever condition or disease that you have, I think that really is the best time to do research. And that way, you're also much more prepared for your next doctor's visit if you have further questions. This is Dr. Deepa Squally. Thanks for watching.